What would you say if I told you that there is a scientifically proven way to run faster without getting tired? Well, for starters, you probably wouldn't believe me because a few weeks ago, I wouldn't have even believed it was possible myself. Beginner runners might think that it sounds too good to be true, so it can't be true. And train runners might think that it doesn't apply to them and quick fixes are only for people with terrible run technique. But today I'm going to tell you about a little bit of simple physics combined with a study that applies to both beginner and already advanced runners combined with one simple thing that anyone can do regardless of their current running abilities in order to run a little bit faster without any more effort. My name is Taryn and when real people want to accomplish something amazing in endurance sports, they choose motive training plans. Let's do it. When it comes to running technique, running cadence, the number of times your foot hits the ground each minute is like a religion for people. Some people say higher cadence is always better and obsess over it. Others say that everyone finds their own ideal cadence and that we shouldn't pay much attention to it. Well, this study that's on the screen right now found that both opinions are right and both are wrong. And that with the right run cadence, we can all run faster without using much, if any, more energy. Give me just a second to get all sciency on you. The speed you run is simply your running cadence multiplied by the length of each foot strike that you take. Keeping your speed the same, if your stride length goes up, your stride frequency must go down. And again, if speed is the same, if stride frequency goes up, your stride length will go down. Here's where science gets really cool. For our speed to go up, we could take longer strides, but if you've ever tried this, you know how tiring it is. Or to run faster, you could just take more strides per minute. And if you tried this, you know that it's not nearly as tiring as taking longer strides. And this study that we mentioned found that trained runners can take 3% more strides per minute, while new runners can take 8% more strides per minute while, wait for it, not using any more energy. That's right, you can run faster without using any more energy. Before you tune out from the video, know that it's not just as simple as higher cadence is always better, or that trying to run the mythical 180 steps per minute is the way to do it. There is a specific way to do this that the study went further in identifying. Much like the runners who don't even believe that we should work on our running cadence say, everyone does find their own most comfortable running cadence. Maybe it's 180 steps per minute or maybe it's a little slower and just 160 steps per minute. But in both cases, whatever feels most comfortable to you is actually the stride rate that is meant for you. However, that is not to say that you can't improve upon this. That study said that trained runners could increase their running cadence by 3% and that new runners could increase their cadence by 8%. So let's keep things simple and just use an average and say that we can increase our cadence by 5%. Also, on average, most runners tend to fall within 160 and 180 steps per minute. So on average, taking that 5% and assuming that we all run somewhere, give or take 5 to 10 steps per minute at around 170 steps per minute, we can all increase our steps per minute by eight and a half more steps per minute, being faster without less energy. I recognize that even just saying this is ridiculous. Are you supposed to go out and count your steps per minute, counting eight and a half steps more per minute every single time you go out and run? Definitely not. You could, however, set your running watch to display cadence, but I really don't like that because you're using your watch as a crutch at that point, and it's not actually training you to feel the faster cadence, so you're not actually learning the technique. But I have a trick that will speed up your cadence naturally without relying on a watch and without just blindly spinning your legs like the Roadrunner. On your next moderately fast run, not your low intensity run because those tend to be a little more plodding, and not your speed run because those require focus of just holding the pace, but on a moderately fast tempo style run, like the one in our training plans that is on the screen here, I just want you to count off foot strikes at a slightly fast pace. As you're running, just count off. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. At a pace that picks up your cadence just a little bit. What you're going to find is that your cadence will naturally increase a little bit, probably within that three to 8% range to meet your counting. Your pace should pick up slightly and while it might feel a little bit more difficult or unnatural at the very start, over about three runs, it'll start to feel faster and just as easy as your previous cadence. You'll be running faster at the same effort. 
A big caveat though is that I don't want you to just go out and do this for an entire run. Everything in running needs to be adapted to very slowly or you'll increase the likelihood of getting injured. So start with a total of just five to 10 minutes counting off your foot strikes over the course of a run. Then increase that total amount of time of counting off the foot strikes by about 10% each run that you do. As it becomes more comfortable and more automatic, you can start counting in the more challenging runs like the speed work and the low intensity runs. Studies have found that within just eight weeks of slightly higher cadence, you will naturally become faster at the same energy. So give this a try on your next run and come back and comment in this video and let me know how it goes. Subscribe for more endurance training tips with the Motive Method that is designed specifically for age group athletes who want to accomplish something amazing despite the obstacles real life throws in our way. Finally, as you pick up your cadence, like we've outlined, a lot of runners might artificially shorten their stride. The way to avoid doing that is with the heel peak technique we outlined in the video that's on the screen. Click that video that works really well in conjunction with this one, two, three running trick to really dial in your running technique. Later, motivators.